Do you want to know what the best headset with microphone is on 2021? Well, we're going to show you our four best headsets for Office that have awesome microphones, and we're going to test them live on this video and compare them side by side so you can hear for yourself and be the judge for yourself which one sounds best to you. For those of you that are new here, my name is David. This is the channel Headset Advisor, where we review and compare the latest business headsets, speaker phones, and webcams to help you make a better buying decision. So consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. Before we get to the microphone test, I do want to let you know that we have in-depth reviews of all these headsets. So if you want to learn more about them, there will be links to our review videos in the description below. All right, how this is going to work is I'm going to read a little bit of Star Wars synopsis on each headset back to back in a variety of situations. So you can see how these microphones compare back to back, and then we'll give a little debrief on each segment. So let's get started. The seeds for the eventual rise of the evil empire are sown in a seemingly routine place, a trade dispute between the Republic and the Trade Federation. Two Jedi, the keepers of peace and justice, are dispatched to negotiate the dispute, but wait for it, it's a trap. They end up barely escaping with their lives, though they do meet R2-D2 who saves their lives. They... All right, so I only tested these three models over here as these are the only ones you can plug in as a fully wired headset, not even utilizing the Bluetooth built into them. And the Yay Link is not able to be plugged in via wired, so it was not tested. Now, after listening back to the audio, I found the Jabra Evolve 275 to be the best sound quality overall. It had a nice, deep, rich bass sound to it and it was crystal clear there's no distortion or fuzziness didn't sound tinny or canny at all where the oro sound tilled pro sounded second best to me as it still sounded uh, deep bass like a condenser microphone but it did have some distortion i think the microphone was a little bit too close to my mouth so it would have been a little bit better if i backed the microphone away and then the Voyager Focus 2, I thought sounded good, but it did sound a, quite a bit tinny compared to these other two. So I give it number three rank. End up on remote Tatooine, where they meet slave boy Anakin Skywalker and his protocol droid C-3PO. Jedi Qui-Gon Jinn senses the force in Anakin and believes he's the chosen one who will bring balance to the force. There's a pod race and Anakin is freed. Qui-Gon wants to train Anakin, but the Jedi Council knows something is up with this boy and rejects it, but he helps the Republic win a battle against the Trade Federation, so the Council lets Obi-Wan Kenobi take him as his apprentice. All right, I had to listen back to all of those tests quite a few times, but my preference out of all of those was the Oro Sound Tilled Pro. It sounded the richest, deepest, uh, overall best sound quality to me. What's interesting on the Voyager Focus 2 is on the wired connection, it sounded quite a bit tinny, but then it sounded a lot better when it was on wireless mode. And I'd say that um, the Poly and the Jabra were very similar on wireless, and this is with no noise in the background. Then Yay Link was a far distant number four. It was just too quiet and very tinny. So overall sound quality for Yay Link um, was not as good as these, but I'd say Oro Sound won the wireless no noise cancellation test. Episode two, Anakin is older now, but it just as bad an actor. The weird trade dispute has grown to a full scale revolt against the Republic. Anakin is assigned to protect Republic loyalist Senator Padme Amidala, and they fall in love. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan discovers that a Jedi Master has ordered the creation of an army of clones based on a single bounty hunter, Jango Fett, whom Obi-Wan determines is the assassin trying to kill Padme, though he does not know why. He also has no idea why the Jedi have ordered. All right, so in regards to noise cancellation, I was able to hear some of the background noise of the Evolve 275 and a bit more with the Oro sound, so it didn't perform uh, as well. Both the Poly and the Yay Link 
canceled out almost all of the background noise, except uh, the sound quality difference between the two. I would say Polly is the winner of this particular test. Up a clone army. Meanwhile, Anakin's mom is murdered and he freaks out, channeling the dark side that everyone knows he has in him. The full scale revolt against the Republic is being led by Count Dooku, a former Jedi who has built his own droid army. Under pressure, the Galactic Senate votes the Chancellor. Emergency powers which, wait for it, is also a trap. The two armies battle and the Jedi and the clones barely win. The movie ends with the revelation that Dooku, the revolt, the clones and the droids are all being controlled by an evil Sith Lord who is actually the Chancellor. All right, the blender I was able to hear on both the poly and on the Oro sound, and then the Jabra canceled out almost all of it, as well as the Yay Link, but the sound quality was by far better on the Jabra Evolve 275. It's the clear winner as far as voice quality and noise cancellation on this epic blender test. Episode three. The Chancellor has been captured by a revolt leader, General Drevis, but Obi-Wan and Anakin rescue him heroically. The Chancellor, seeking to draw out Anakin's dark side, demands that Anakin assassinate Dooku, which he does. Anakin is dealing with his demons, including visions of Padme dying in childbirth. The Council declines to elevate him to master status, so the Chancellor puts him on the Jedi Council as his representative spy. dark side to cheat death but you can't learn that from any dismissively jedi but wait for it it's a trap anakin eventually figures out that the chancellor is a sith lord all right that was some epic high powered win there now looking at the results of all of that audio the winner was clear to me in this test as well i was really impressed with how the jabra evolved to 75 handled all that wind driving in on that microphone. Now, the Oro sound surprisingly didn't do so good. And the Yay Link uh, did a great job of blocking out that background noise, but the quality of voice just wasn't anywhere comparable to the uh, Evolve 275. Polly did pretty good, but uh, you could still hear quite a bit of the wind. So if it were me and I'm in a hurricane or very windy tunnel, I would want that Evolve 275. The Poly Voyager Focus 2 has all of the microphones built into this microphone boom. You can uh, move it up and mute the microphone like this. Simply drop it back down and your voice is picked up back in the Voyager Focus 2. With the Jabra Evolve 275, you can have the boom arm up, so it just looks like a regular pair of headphones. But then you have microphones actually built in the body, so you can still take and receive phone calls with the headset. But then if you want to get more serious with your phone calls and block out your background noise, simply drop that boom arm down, and then you can utilize the eight microphones built into this and sound even better and cancel out more background noise so your voice is heard clearly. All right, now this is the Tilde Pro, and it has a noise-canceling microphone boom, but one unique thing about this Tilde Pro is that it has a magnetic microphone boom, so now it's utilizing the microphones built into the body of the headset, and then magnetically you can put back on that noise-canceling microphone, so that's a really neat feature about the Tilde Pro. So just like the Poly Voyager Focus 2, the Yay Link has a noise-canceling microphone boom, and when you put it up, Then you can drop the microphone boom back down and your voice can be heard again. It's now unmuted. But one extra additional feature on this Yay Link is you can actually take the headset off, put it back into the docking cradle, and now you have a full speakerphone going on. My voice is being heard directly through this speakerphone on this face. And that's helpful in case your headset dies or you're just tired of talking on the headset, put it on the charger, and then continue your meeting or conference call right through this built-in speakerphone. All right, now moving on to my final thoughts here. Now we selected these four headsets up here based on your feedback on our review and comparison videos, especially this Yay Link. You've made a lot of comments on how well it does at canceling out noise. 
I was quite surprised with the results of these testing in each individual situation. I thought for sure that the Yay Link was going to win this competition, but after hearing all of those tests, it's quite clear which one is best overall. What I felt was lacking on the Yay Link is the quality of voice. It did cancel out the background noise very, very well. However, the quality of voice sounded a bit tinny and the volume level was quite low on this microphone boom, as I think they reduced the microphone gain in order to help block out more background noise. In a quiet environment, I preferred the Orosound Tilt Pro. It just had the best overall sound. It has this bassy tone and sounds a lot like a condenser microphone, but it didn't do so well in the wind test especially, and some of the noise canceling tests, it didn't do as good of a job as some of these others. Now the Voyager Focus 2 UC did a great job at everything, and you can't go wrong with any one of these headsets up here. I really enjoyed the Focus 2 UC. However, I would say the best overall was the Jabra Evolve 275. The way that they designed those eight microphones on that boom that can actually flip upwards is phenomenal. It has great noise cancellation from the testing and the quality of voice sounds fantastic. It has a lot more bassy tone to it. So you can hear people crystal clear with this microphone boom. So I'd say the Evolve 275 is the best microphone out of these headsets in front of me here. And it's gonna give our rating for the best headset with microphone for 2021. If you're seriously considering purchasing any of these headsets, they're available on our website, headsetadvisor.com. Make sure you use coupon code YouTube. It's gonna get you huge savings on these headsets. And with the Jabra Evolve 275, which we voted best in this video, make sure you use coupon code Jabra. It's gonna save you even more money. Now, when you order through our website, not only do we ship quickly, but we also provide free product support for the life of the product. So we're not gonna leave you hanging after we ship the product and it helps support our small family business. So consider purchasing through headsetadvisor.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and drop us a comment to let us know how you thought this new format of mic testing and feedback went. Be curious to get your feedback on that. Now we did an in-depth review of the Jabra Evolve 275. Check out that full in-depth review video here. We go over microphone tests and all of the uh, features and benefits of the headset, as well as the Orosound Tilt Pro. Check it out right there. And we have a goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button that we'll put right up here on the screen. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.